Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. In this video, I'm going to discuss incretin hormones. Incretin hormones were discovered due to the differential effect of oral and intravenous glucose on insulin secretion. Oral glucose evokes a much larger spike in plasma insulin than intravenous glucose, a phenomenon known as the incretin effect. This is due to the effects of incretin hormones GIP and GLP-1, small peptides which are released from the gastrointestinal tract in response to nutrient absorption. GIP, or glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide, is synthesized from pro-GIP in the K cells of the duodenum and proximal jejunum and released in response to carbohydrate and fat absorption. The effects of GIP are similar to, but not as strong as, those produced by GLP-1. GLP-1, or glucagon-like peptide 1, is a protein synthesized from proglucagon in the enteroendocrine L cells in the ileum and colon. When nutrients are absorbed in these areas of the gastrointestinal tract, GLP-1 is released into the blood. As the GLP-1 receptor is GS protein coupled, its activation mediates GDP to be exchanged for GTP. This allows the alpha subunit to dissociate and activate adenyl cyclase, which stimulates the production of cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP activates protein kinase A. Protein kinase A blocks ATP-dependent potassium channels, causing the beta cell membrane to depolarize. This depolarization activates voltage-gated calcium channels, causing an influx of calcium. Calcium stimulates the exocytotic release of insulin. However, the effects of GLP-1 don't end there. It also decreases glucagon secretion, which works in antagonism with insulin, as well as increasing beta cell mass. It increases glucose uptake into adipose tissue and skeletal muscle and increases glycogen storage in the liver. It decreases gastric motility and appetite, both resulting in decreased food intake. And finally, it has been shown to have protective effects on the heart. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.